Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft has finally released the optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 24H2, which is KB5044384, and the update will be optional unless, as I've mentioned previously, you have this toggle turned on and then it becomes an automatic mandatory update. Now, there's quite a lot gain on in 5044384. So it's quite a major update and it's give or take more or less the same update I posted on when it was still being finalized in preview a week or so ago and has now made its way to the stable version which I'm very happy to see because it does fix a couple of key issues that all of us have been experiencing since upgrading to version 24H2. Now first of all, um, once the update is installed if you do decide to install the update, because it is optional as mentioned, if we just head to Winver, the About Windows menu and dialog, just to check that build for 24H2, OS build is now sitting on 26100.2161. And just focusing on the highlights, which are rolling out gradually. So what I'm going to mention now, these features and improvements and fixes are rolling out gradually. So you may see them, you may not. Once again, I haven't received all of them, so I'm just going to have to improvise for this video. But nonetheless, I'm sure you'll get the gist by the end of the video. Now, first of all, uh, there's a new notifications feature where you can now stop the suggestions to turn off notifications from certain apps. So when a notification pops up here um, on your screen to the bottom right, what you can do is select the three-dotted menu, also known as the ellipsis menu, uh, in the notification and turn it off, which I think is good. And you can also go to settings, system notifications, and turn it off from there. I haven't received this feature, so I can't actually show you that. But nonetheless, go check that out in your settings, system notifications, if you don't want to turn off notifications directly from the actual app notification itself. And then we're going to jump around quite a bit in settings, um, for this video and according to microsoft um wi-fi password the wi-fi password dialog apparently the dialog now has the windows 11 visual design so for that you go to settings network and internet and um, i'm not going to show you that because of privacy but go check that out for yourself um it's on this network and internet page then something else is if we head to accessibility and narrator, which is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen, there are two new features for narrator, which is good because I'm always in favor of accessibility features. The first new feature for narrator is the update adds a new narrator shortcut. So if you are using the feature, you can press the narrator key plus control plus X to copy what narrator last spoke to the clipboard. And this shortcut, Microsoft says, is useful when you want to quickly copy some content like codes or numbers for use. And then the second narrator new feature is it will now auto-read the contents of an email message in the new Outlook. This is like the behavior in Outlook Classic, according to Microsoft. Now, there's also a gamepad keyboard um, new feature. And we have spoken about this quite in depth, but just a quick update for this video. This update starts the rollout of a new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard. So Microsoft says with it, you can use the your Xbox controller to move around the screen and type. Button accelerators are also available, and these include the X button for backspace and the Y button for the spacebar. And for better patterns, the keyboard keys are aligned vertically. So um, if you do have a an Xbox controller, this may be a step in the right direction ever. And I have seen one or two positive comments regarding this feature on the channel. And another little tweak and adjustment, which I still haven't received, is for the start menu, all apps has the new name all. So go check that out. You might see that just says all instead of all apps. So that's a small little change for some reason that Microsoft is making. And then if we go to Alt and Tab, apparently there's a fix for Alt and Tab where Microsoft said the screen would go black on some PCs for a few seconds when you switch between certain windows. And we can see, if you were experiencing that issue, that that is now addressed. And then there's a fix for scanning apps where apparently they didn't detect certain scanners, although, although they are connected. So guys, those are the new features. 
and the fixes and improvements that are rolling out gradually. So you may see them, you may not. Now, a couple of um, highlights that are rolling out normally. Um, there are one, two, three in total. Web signing has received a fix where um, you couldn't sign into your account from the web app, from sorry, from the web because the screen stopped responding. So that's a web signing fix. And the good news is if you have a Copilot key, you can now configure the Copilot key on the keyboard. As you may well know, on new devices, the key opens the Copilot app, which was met with quite a lot of debate. So you will see now, if you head over to your settings, personalization, text input, you will see if we scroll down, you've got customized Copilot key on keyboard. Choose what happens when you press the Copilot key. So basically, you can make the, the key open a different app, or you can make it open search. And if you want to add a custom app, there we go, and you can select from the list. But just take note though, um, as an example, I don't have a Copilot key on this device. And Microsoft says, if your PC's keyboard does not have a Copilot key, if you change this, nothing's going to happen, okay? Um, you won't be able to configure the Copilot key. That's only for keyboards that have a Copilot key. And also Microsoft says, to make the key open a different app, the app must be in a signed M6 package. So just take note of that. Now, a big one with this update, which I think many users, including myself, are happy to see, um, Windows Disk Cleanup and the Storage Sense. That issue has been fixed. And I took a screenshot before posting this video, and I ran this twice before posting this video for Storage Sense and also Disk Cleanup. And the update addresses some of the causes for the wrong free space estimates and improves its accuracy. And that was at 8.63 gigabytes. And that now has finally been addressed, which I think is very good news. And everything working normally now on disk cleanup and storage sense um, on version on Windows 11 24H2. Now, because this is a non-security update, it does include some other quality improvements. And the first is um, there's a new feature for virtual hard disk VHD, VHDX. So just to head to a screenshot for this one. The update adds a detach virtual disk button to settings. So Microsoft does say though that this might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. So just take note of that. And if you are using Windows Sandbox, apparently there's a Windows Sandbox client preview, which is also another new feature. And uh, the update adds the Windows Sandbox Client Preview. So basically what it includes is um, there's a runtime clipboard redirection. There's audio and video input control and the sharing of folders uh, with the host at runtime. And to access these, you select the ellipsis menu here at the top, the three-dotted menu at the upper right on the app. And the, this preview also includes a version of command line support according to Microsoft. And another new feature is for networking. If you use the uh, the NetSH wireless LAN show networks command, it can now read SSRDs that are encode, encoded using UTF-8. So basically what this means is that Wi-Fi SSRDs that have Unicode characters like emoji will display properly in NetSH. SH output and that's also on a gradual rollout okay so you may see that you may not and then for the user interface the UR there's a fix where you couldn't view some parts of the user interface when you ran certain apps where that's a small significant little fix and here's another one there's a stop error um, fix for WinLogon where they fixed a stop error which by the way is a blue screen of death that was occurring during shutdown. That's another important fix. And here's another very important fix which myself and a lot of users are going to be happy about. They finally fixed the SFC scan now command where you got errors every time you ran the command. And once again, I took a screenshot before posting and there we go. I ran this twice and every time it came back everything A and OK, which I'm very happy to see because I almost use SFC scan now almost every two days for the purpose of this channel and for my um, kind of you know daily and weekly uh, maintenance schedule on my Windows devices. And then the last one is also a 
important fix where they fixed a known issue for direct access where Microsoft says that after a clean install or an in-place upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2, you might face issues using direct access. The connection apparently might not complete and stays in a connecting state. So that's an official known issue that's been fixed. Now, something else, those are all the official change log features. I have left some out for the bug fixes because those are taking place under the hood and you may not be interested in those. And I don't want to make this video too long, but something else that I have noticed is that's not officially in the change log. If we head over to Device Manager and my sound video and game controllers, Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers, according to Microsoft, this is an official known issue for 24H2 where they could cause a blue screen of death. And I've experienced this issue firsthand because every time I would open up my screen recorder, it would crash, which was a bit of a um, the, the blue screen crash and then restart, which was a bit of a headache. And I have noticed today, I've opened my screen recorder just to test this after updating with this update, and it hasn't crashed yet. So I'm guesstimating that, that the Intel Smart Sound Technology driver issue has also been fixed with this update um, for Windows 11 24H2. So guys, as mentioned, quite a lot going on with this update. A good couple of new features. SFC scan now is fixed. Storage Sense, disk cleanup, that bug has been fixed. And that's more or less what's new with KB5044384 for Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.